Gee, T-Bob, I wish there was something else to do besides watch a sheep getting a haircut. Scout is more like it. Yeah, this is an unlucky day for both of us. But, Scott, luck comes not from the wishing, but from the doing. Ah, uh, I don't go for all that good luck stuff, Patty. Oh, well, I do. Uh, besides, it's bad luck not to. Well, I'm going to have some fun, luck or no luck. Take a look at these plans, Patty. The new factory is really going to be something. Wool, textiles, everything. Fine they are, Matt. The whole village is thankful to you. With this new strain of sheep you developed, we can shear the sheep twice as often. And many villagers like Mike here will have jobs now. Hey, this is fun! Whoa! Excuse me, Patty, but I'd better help Scott before he gets fleeced. Thanks, Dad. That was close. You said Scott needs a training razor. Too bad you're not a sheep, T-Bob. I'd shear you. Yeah, but all you'd get is steel wool. Why don't you two go check out the rest of the sheep with Mike before you get into more trouble? You're right, Dad. That was really a close shave. Boy, Mike, don't these sheep eat anything but grass? I'll take a double cheeseburger any day. You'd take a double cheeseburger every minute if you could. Tis getting late. It'd be time to... No! Oh, wait! Look! I found a four-leaf clover, just like Patty said I would. I looked for luck, and I found it. That's not what he meant. You have to make your own luck, not grow it. There'll be nothing but the luck of the Irish for us from now on. I wonder if your friend may be right. Look. For no storm. Where'd the rainbow come from? I don't know, Mike, but I bet there's a pot of gold at the end. Let's go find it. Feeling lucky all of a sudden, Scott? Well, this kind of luck is different. It, it... Yeah, I know. It grows on you. Careful, T-Bob. You'll get your feet wet. You're all wet if you think we're going to find any gold here. Aye, he's right, lad. Tis time we be getting back. Ain't nothing here. Come on. I just know there's gold in them there rocks. And I just found a bonanza. Look! By the curl of a leprechaun's nose. I'll not be believing it. Well, I do. My four-leaf clover did bring us luck. You mean our four-leaf clover, T-Bob. Let's go tell Dad. Boy, Scott. Lucky see, lucky do. And then we saw the gold. Sure that we did see the rainbow, but there weren't no gold. I be thinking they be kissed with fairy dust. But we did see the gold, Dad. And I'm not kissing anyone. Yuck! Are you too sure you saw gold and not something else shining in the sun? Tis true that these hills oft play tricks with your mind. Besides, they'd believe anything after they found the shamrock. It's a sham, all right. If you be excusing me, Mr. Tracker, I be going to round up me sheep now. Why would Mike lie? We did see the gold, didn't we, T-Bob? Oh, uh, sure. Mike is full of baloney, uh, like that castle Patty told us about. You mean Blarney Castle, T-Bob. Why don't we take a ride out there? Uh, I still say it looks like a roll of baloney. Who said kissing the Blarney Stone was fun? It's supposed to make you more eloquent, Scott. You know, fancy words nobody understands but pretends to. Hey, uh, let me try. I want to talk good. You need it. Your valuable assistance endears you to be in my indebtment. Now that I am a gentleman, bespoke of grand speech as well as eloquent letters. You're a man of letters, all right. D U M B. Come on, you two. Forget your ABCs for a while and let's see the rest of the castle. The elements of history always interest me. You're going to be history before too long, T-Bob. Wow! Look at all those daffodils! Mm, methinks there are a few weeds in the garden. 
You're starting to make sense, T-Bob. Venom! What could they be doing here, Dad? Whatever it is, I'll bet they're not picking four-leaf clovers. Come on. Boy, I wish we had the Thunderhawk instead of this rented car. Level one emergency. Select best agents for mission in Ireland. Oh, boy! The fighting o trackers to the rescue! You're half right, Scott. Only your half will be safe at the farmhouse. Julio Lopez, occupation, physician, vehicle code name, Firefly. Expertise lies in international missions. Architect, vehicle code name Raven. Amphibious vehicle could be essential. Selection approved. Assemble Mobile Armored Strike Command. Advise also need Thunderhawk for this mission. Tis true, Mr. Mayhem. I be seeing the treasure of Brian Baru with me own eyes. Who is this Brian What's-His-Name? Sounds like a two-bit thief to me. Probably one of your relatives, Rax. Shut up! I want to hear more about this treasure. According to the legend, King Baru left behind a lost pot of gold. And I found it down by the rocks, just like I told you. You told me. Now get lost. Rax, Dagger, prepare the vehicles. Vanessa, check our supplies. We're leaving immediately. But what about me share in the treasure? What do I get? Your life. You'll not get away with it. May the curse of a leprechaun's thousand fairy darts pierce your black heart if ye be disturbing the gold guarded by the wee people. Gee, I sure hate to get stuck with them fairy darts. Enough foolishness. Let's get the treasure now. You and T-Bob stay here. I've got some important business to take care of. Stay out of trouble, you two. Don't worry. We'll be as good as gold. Good idea, T-Bob. We'll find the pot of gold and show Dad we really did see it. Oh, what have I to fear? I'm brave, courageous. Oh, well, I still have my four-leaf colder and a sinking stomach. We'll get to the pot of gold in the rubber raft. We won't sink in this. That's what they said about the Titanic. Boy, uh, this is dangerous, Scott. I expect to see icebergs any minute. But we couldn't get down to the end of the rainbow. Ugh. From up on the cliff? This is the only way we can get in. Getting out is all I'm interested in. Hey, what happened to your fancy talk? Ooh, what do you mean? I always talk good. You said it. <laughs> T-Bob, where are you? T-Bob! Oh, I'm drowning. Oh, oh, oh. Telescope your legs down. I oh, am. Yeah. Oh, but I'm not touching anything. It's too deep. And too late. Something. There's an old wreck under there. You're gonna be a wreck too if we don't get out of here. Ooh, we'll get to that rock if we walk on the mast. Hang on, Scott. Oh, great flood. The 
these tire tracks could only belong to one set of vultures. Venom. Wolf vipers? Maybe they can tell me something. I'll put these through analysis when the Thunderhawk arrives. Mayhem's not going to pull any wool over my eyes. If only that raft didn't rip. I got an idea. Climb aboard, Scott. Whoa! What do you think? Good idea. But why didn't you think of it sooner? You always criticize me. Whoa! I should have called you Tea Crab. Look, Tea Bob, it's that rainbow again. This time, I'm going to get that pot of gold. Gold isn't real. It's just an illusion. You know what they say. Easy come, easy glow. You said it, T-Bob, and it's coming from over there. Let's go. It's a mirror. Sort of. It's a prism reflecting the gold. Yeah, that's the gold we saw earlier with Mike. Yeah, but we didn't see this. Wow, oh, I'm sure seeing it now. And I don't intend to close my eyes for a second. Gee, if we could get a sample, Dad would believe us. Sounds like we got company. Uh-oh, here comes trouble with a capital V. Boy, it sure is getting crowded in here. Come on, we've got to hide. Hey, look at all that gold! The shepherd was right! Close your mouth, Rax, before a bat mistakes it for a cave! Look at them gold bars! And gold coins and gold... Shut up, Tiger, and put those bug eyes of yours back into that ninny brain of yours! And get me the gold! The treasure is in there! Blast it out of there! Here's that analysis on the wool fibers. Subject confirmed. Wool fibers. Result of analysis. Fibers are from new strain of tracker sheep. Not exactly Mary's little lamb. You're right. Patty and Mike are the only ones handling those sheep. Let's go question them. Aye. I hope to get some of the treasure for myself. A sheep herder's off so poor. The only thing he has in his pockets be his hands. Seems to me you don't care what you have to do to line those pockets. The gold would have been mine. But those thieves threw me out after I told them where it was. About this gold, sir, where did it come from? Why, oh, your schoolboy knows the legend of Brian Baru, the 11th century king who planted a vast treasure of gold in a secret cave in the rocks to trick those who wanted his lands and his treasure. Any invaders who came looking for it got their boats smashed on the rocks and were captured when they tried to get it. So, Scott and T-Bob were telling the truth. You'll be sorry if you go there. Just like Mayhem and his friends, a thousand fairy darts will be your only reward. Where to, Matt? Follow the rainbow. Rock away, T-Bob. Hey, who did that? Open again, Dagger. Move these rocks, now! But I did! The leprechauns moved them back! I won't take any more lame brain excuses from a lame brain! Now get back to work! You know what the shepherd said! Them leprechauns guard this place, and they're gonna get us with them fairy dots! You moronic jerk! 
I'll give you something to worry about if you don't keep working. Venom's probably at the end. Mask! To your vehicles! Tiger, continue blasting! Hey! It's Dad and the team! Woo! Just in time! Like the cavalry! Better next time. Time for a swim, Mask. These discs will lure that shark mayhem where I want it. Follow it! What do you know? A hole in one! Hey! We found the treasure of Brian Baru! And there's none of them leprechauns inside! Shut up, you brainless cretin! We'll load up what we can, then we'll come back for the rest! Doesn't that tin can pilot ever give up? Get in, Rax, before I change my mind. It can be Scott and T-Bob. Not again. Then we saw Mayhem and Dagger loading up the gold. You should have seen what we did to them. Dagger was convinced we were leprechauns. Yeah, it's too bad the leprechauns aren't really around to protect the gold. Maybe there are, but you two, wait in here. I would not let do that to fight for you. Yo! You imbecilic moron! It's a leprechaun! No such things! Keep working! The wrath of all the wee people in Ireland be upon ye if you don't return our gold. Get moving, you gawking goon! Very gone! Wait, Dagger! I'm getting out of here! Gulliver, full power, on! Thanks, Calhoun. With your mask and laser bolts from Spectrum here, we sure leprechauned Venom. <laughs> Talk about the luck of the Irish. Since the treasure of Brian Baru was found on Patty's property, it'll be used to help build the new woolen textile factory. When Mike heard that, he was so ashamed he left the country. I tis sorry I am about Mike. But with the treasure in your new breed of sheep mat, the village will be prosperous again. Boy, this is fun. You said it, Scott. Sheer ecstasy. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, T-Bob, talk about a slow burn. Those burgers aren't even cooking. Yeah, they're in the pink, all right. I know how to hurry them up. Scott, don't ever add lighter fluid to a fire. It could explode. Yeah, you're right, Dad. Try it now, Scott. Mmm, oh. this is good. Well done, T-Bob. <laughs> <laughs> 